Okay, Mr. Monix, what are the main objectives of this conference? The main objective of the conference is to bring together world leaders in the area of science and technology because people really, when they get together, they can advance things much better than being disparate and spread about the globe. So it's a really, really great idea. Okay. How, so far, how do you evaluate the visitors' reaction toward this uh, conference? Very good. People uh, are enthusiastic and it's a top-notch conference. It's one of the best I've ever been to. What do you expect from this conference? What sort of outcome do you expect? Well, for our company, we do genetic testing, and we're looking to expand into the region. And so part of our attendance here is to help establish that foothold. Any message you would like to convey in this regard? Uh, we're excited to bring genetic testing, sort of cutting edge new science to this region. It's something that uh, we're using in the United States in the healthcare system every day, and uh, something that would uh, make a lot of sense here as well. Dr. Hilal Ashwal, what are the main objectives of this conference? This conference has uh, several objectives. One of them is to highlight the recent advances that have been made in many different disciplines in computer science, engineering, uh, and neuroscience and brain research, and how we are capitalizing and utilizing all the, integrating all these advances to make breakthroughs that will improve the health and well-being of patients suffering from neurological diseases. Okay, what are the main topics to be uh, covered in this meeting? We are focusing on, on uh, two different topics. One, on the recent uh, advances and approaches and, in, and global initiatives that are focused on trying to understand how our brain works, unlocking the mysteries of the brain. And in the second, uh, and, uh, we have sessions that focus on how we are applying engineering and computing approaches to develop neuroprosthetics uh, that will help uh, people who suffer from neurological diseases resume their normal daily life activity. Uh, and another topic what we try to do is not only focus on the past and the present, but try to take a look into the future and see where is the future of these fields. Where are we heading? What's the research that will likely preoccupy most of us for the next 10 years? And what will be the impact of this research in improving, uh, people's, in improving people's life? What is new in this field? Well, there are a number of things that are new. First, we are beginning to see an increasing use of uh, uh, engineering, brain-machine interfaces, uh, in, in uh, neuroscience and neurology. Uh, two, we are now seeing the use of big data and how uh, research today in medicine and healthcare will be driven by integrating large sets of data. This is one of the challenge and this is and presents a lot of opportunities for improve, improving healthcare and personalized medicine. Any message you would like to convey, uh, Dr. Hilal? Well, uh, as a, as a uh, Arab neuroscientist, I'm personally pleased to be here and I'm pleased to see that uh, we have the opportunity to promote the field of neuroscience. We have the opportunity to increase awareness about neurological disorders. In our region, uh, diabetes and cancer tend to dominate the discussion and the funding in the, in the region when actually we share the global burden of neurological diseases and we hope that this conference and uh, what has been discussed and covered in this conference will shed light on the importance of investing in finding treatment for neurological diseases in the Arab world, but also for training, investing in the training of new talents and doctors that will be able to uh, harness all these advances that are made around the globe to improve the health of our people in the region. Dr. Khalid, uh, what is new in this field? Um, for me, what's new is to combine all these uh, different specialties in one forum or one conference. Um, this means you, you bring the neurosurgeon, the neurologist, um, the IT people, the biomedical engineers uh, to one area to discuss uh, how, how we are going to shape the future of, uh, uh, of the neuroscience. It's not like the routine, uh, what, we, what we used to do is, for example, me as a neurosurgeon, we go to the neurosurgical conference. But this different, this conference is a different type that you meet people from different specialties and you know different ideas uh, than what you used to know. Okay, any message you would like to convey in this regard, Dr. Khalid? 
Um, I think um, these meetings should be held um, on frequent basis so that we are going to um, to change our policies, to change our modalities of treatment of the uh, neurological disorders in the future.